Good morning, how are we? Um, it is Friday the 19th of January. I haven't put anything up for this week. Um, so I think I'm gonna try and get into the routine of doing something at least by Friday morning, if not filming, just a quick update for you. Um, not a lot happening this week um, in terms of history. Well, I say that I've had a few meetings. So I had um, one of the War Cabinet meetings for Romsey this year. Um, which was very interesting. Somebody appeared that hadn't been about for a while, and yes, I'm not that impressed. Um, she was very rude, obnoxious, and once again, didn't like my research. Um, she doesn't like the way I research, even though I have um, uh, I use a lot more uh, primary sources, whereas she sort of goes off on tangents, and then she didn't understand how my work works. That's by the by. I'm just going to carry on forget the conversations that we had and just carry on with my work um but that was really good we got some really solid um ideas coming in through there and we're going to start making a timeline because the problem now is every time we go to a meeting we come up with a new idea um and we don't necessarily have time to do it all so we're now getting to the point where we just need to nail down the, the bits that we are doing um so that's for next month which isn't on my calendar i've just realized I should add that. Um, I also spoke with B&Q this week who have given me the go ahead to go get some temp work. So I put some feelers out and it looks like there could be some um, about in Romsey, which is really good to bring, start bringing some money in, especially in time for holiday, um, which isn't that long away now, um, which reminds me, I must book our diving experience today. Yes, shall do that in a second. Um, what else have I done? What else have I done? Um, caught up with a, a good very good friend of mine um who it was really good to see actually she looks like she's a lot more um centered as where she's going so i think she had a really good christmas and new year and it just allowed her to become a lot more grounded um and and sort of carve out some paths where she wants to go um and that was a really good catch up with her messier for ages um so that was really nice um we went for dinner and just a quick catch up which was really good to do um and reminds me i should do it more often um yeah really um this book arrived this week i'm so excited for it this is um the national role um for the great war um there are 14 sections um just all across the different areas of the uk this one is southampton which obviously covers romsey and these are only just a selection of um romsey names i've kind of um, so I've noted down all of the Romsey names so that they will get an acknowledgement in their write-up, but these ones are um, just a little bit more, they give us quite a bit of information um, on something like a wounding, um, or they are civilians. So it's a really good place for me to have a look and see whether we can get some really big stories up and running on these ones. Um, so this is going to be a really, really, really good piece. I've been after this book for years. Um, and it just came up on Amazon the other day that there was a um, supposedly used copy, but there's no marks or anything on it, so I don't mind. And actually, I quite like a used copy. Um, I like to know the story. I'd like to think of what, who looked at it beforehand. Um, this weekend is going to be a very strange weekend. So um, my dad has been building a hut in the garden. Um, it will eventually become his training hut. So this year is his 60th birthday. Um, and for his 60th birthday, he is going out to um, France to cycle who knows how many Alps. Um, and me and my dad are quite into road cycling. Um, and so he's going out to become a king of the mountains. Um, and join a very elite list on some of the courses, which we're really super excited for him for. But we've been trying to create this training hut in the back garden for him. Um, and this this weekend is going to be very, very bizarre. So myself, Phil, mum, dad, my sister and my brother-in-law are both coming, are all here this weekend. So there's six of us um, to try and put the roof on. So it's quite a big moment um, for us all, but it's also all of us working together which is going to be very interesting me and my sister don't work very well we work in a very different start in different ways um so it's gonna be really interesting to see how that goes mum thinks it'll be fine i think there'll be one or two arguments but hey we're all doing it for the same reason so it should be okay um the other thing we did this week was me and phil got in the swimming pool so for holiday i really want to get fit and healthy um and you know like the weekend 
we we went to Winchester for a walk around uh, on Saturday afternoon, and then on Sunday we meant to go swim. Well, we tried to go swimming, but there was the pool was shut. Um, so we went up to Swindon and just had a really nice walk around. Um, and actually, it was a really nice weekend, and it made me really realise that actually I enjoy getting out and and doing stuff like that. Whereas a few months ago, I couldn't, I didn't like it, I didn't understand the point. Um, I'd rather much be rather tucked up in bed watching TV. Um, and it was a real sort of game changer for me because I realised what I was doing for my health actually wasn't very good. So I suffer from um, a syndrome called Ehlers-Danlos Syndrome um, or hypermobility. Um, and it has different elements in it as well, but it means essentially I have a lack of collagen in my body. And um, which means that when my joints do this, they are slowly wearing away. Um, so I have to be quite careful, but at the same time, you have to, um, uh, your muscles that support your joints need to be really strong. Um, and that was a bit I couldn't quite get my head around. Um, and I think it twigged this weekend. So we'd been going for walks across Christmas and I'd been in a lot of pain with my hips and my knees. And this weekend we did quite a lot of walking and I had no pain. And I'm so happy for that because it means that I am a step closer to being where I want to be. Um, I've lost quite a bit of weight since leaving B&Q. Um, and I think that probably has gone an element of... Um, I wasn't really happy in what I was doing there. And you do the whole eat a lot more. Um, which is what I was definitely doing. Um, we'd have a bad meeting or something and I'd walk downstairs. And B&Q head office has a Costa Coffee downstairs. Um, who do amazing cakes. Um, and we would always land up there. And... Uh, when you have a big slice of cake and a hot chocolate, it's not very good for you. And we were doing that quite a few times a week. So back home, I'm really focusing on what I'm eating, um, drinking a lot more, which I used to be really terrible at. And I feel so much healthier. This week on Tuesday, we managed to get in the swimming pool. Um, and as a kid, I wasn't taught to swim. Uh, my mum can't swim because she wears glasses. So to get into a swimming pool and take her glasses off is really difficult for her. Um, she's always tried. Um, so she can swim a little bit, but, but as a kid we never went to like swimming lessons or anything. And my dad would try and teach us when we went on holiday, but once a year trying to, uh, like being taught to swim doesn't really get you anywhere. When I was first going out with Phil when I was like 16, his mum and dad tried to teach me because they were into surfing. So I knew a little bit um, back then and it was about getting my confidence up. Um, and then on Tuesday we went down to the swimming pool and it's probably the first time I've been in a swimming pool since I actually can't remember the last time, um, which is very, it's quite bad. And actually I feel ashamed of saying that. Um, but I managed five lengths. Um, I didn't quite realize how bad my breathing was and that's where I was struggling. I probably could have gone again, um, but I would get to a certain point and, and really struggle with my breathing. So I'd have to stop um, and get my breathing back into control. Um, but actually, I was really worried that the next day I'd wake up really achy and sore, and I wasn't. So that was really good. I'm really excited and eager to go again, which I think we're going to do next week. Um, which I, yeah, I'm, I'm really feeling positive about things. And I've still got enough time before holiday to, to, to improve myself even more so that we can go do the snorkeling we want to do. We can go to the um, ancient Mayan ruins that he wants to do for his birthday. And I'm so proud of that. And I'm so glad that we can do that because... That was one of the things he never got to do when he was in Mexico before um, and I wanted to take him there for his birthday um, and it actually looks like that that would be fine to do now which was always my biggest worry. Um, so I'm really in a positive place as of next week and I'm going to start um, getting up and working out a little bit more as well. I've realised that sitting here at home I do less than about a thousand steps a day which is atrocious it really is um so i make a point of like going to the toilet downstairs using the other than the one that's on the other side of that wall there um just running up and down the stairs a little bit more and just making sure i'm looking after myself a bit um i have had a few setbacks this week in my hands once again they've started dropping things which is my biggest annoyance um i was trying to grate cheese yesterday and i dropped the grater in the spaghetti bolognese phil thought it was hilarious i burst into tears that's just the way it is and he was like do you not think you need to go see someone i was like no because they can't do anything and i know it's just it's a mental attitude of um you've got to get over it and just you've got to tell your body that's not good enough try harder uh, and that's you know i'm i'm at the point of i'm 27 years old I know at some point my body will probably let me down quite bad um, 
and that's fine because of, of what we have but today's not the day and not when I'm 27 years old and I want to do a lot more so it's about getting my body fit and healthy and supporting myself as much as I can um, which is a really different mental attitude as to where I've been before because before I've been like you've got this thing and it's just slowly wearing your joints away and that's that you can't do anything about it well yes I can and if I do it now I won't be in such a bad position 20 30 years down the line the only thing that I am concerned about is my hearing because um I feel like I'm shouting all the time and I think I am because Phil's always telling me turn it down turn it down and I can't hear what's going on um, and he's always trying to talk to me and I'm like what sorry did you say something and I don't know whether that's because I'm in my own little world um, or I physically I, I'm, I'm struggling with my hearing so I think that's um, probably a really good one to go to the doctors for <laughs> um, rather than like my hands and joints and stuff because we all know what that is and we all know what they're going to say so what's the point um, you cope the best you can when you have something like this but I think I'm doing okay um, as I say I feel a lot better in myself, a lot happier, a lot healthier. Um, the other thing we thought of the other day is multivitamins. I spend so much time in this chair here. There are some days I don't even go outside. Um, so, got some multivitamins. That's not the answer. I know it's not the answer, but it is a help. Um, I spend most of my weekends outside now, so that that is a help as well. Um, but it, it, I need to get a bit more of a balance. Um, so that's what we're going to start working on. Um, so it's always really good for me to know where I'm at. And where I need to get to or I want to get to um, and I think that's a difference it's no longer a need it's a want um, so mental health is really really important when it comes to stuff like this um, and I feel a little bit more clearer and um, going back to find some work so I've got a bit more interaction with people will really help me um, with like my own mental <laughs> with some of the anxiety stuff that I have um, and I have a real issue with control um, and, and, and as I say it makes my anxiety sky high like if I know I'm not in control I hate I hate it I, I don't like that situation whatsoever so we've got some really positive things to work on we've identified them um, and now it's just about moving forward which I am going to try my hardest to do before Mexico so that we can have the most amazing holiday and um, as I say we've got about two and a half months I think um which is plenty of time. It's, all, it's not going to be 100% by then. I know that and I know I'm still going to have to work on things for years to come. But I will have a lot more of a, a grip on, on what I'm doing. And I, hopefully I'll be in a much more healthier place as well. Um, not just mentally but physically as well. So next week is again another quiet week. Um, I've been invited to a talk on the Thursday which is uh, a medical talk. Um, which I'm quite interested and intrigued. We're going to see if we can get the speaker to come to um, the festival as well. Um, and then it's going to be ploughing on with research and potentially getting in some work, um, which will be some money coming in. Whoop, whoop. That would be really good. Um, yeah, other than that, it's, it's just ploughing on with the research. Um, hopefully I'll get into Winchester Archives maybe next week. That would be really helpful. Um, as I really need to crack on with stuff especially if I'm going back to work like three days a week then I need to when I'm at home I need to be centered I need to be like focused um, and, and really getting my arse in gear so that's where I'm at um, I hope everyone is very well um, and I will do another little update next week unless I'm going out and doing something fun in which case I might take you with me um, I might film a little bit of the uh, hut building tomorrow um, just so that when the roof goes on we've all got something to go yes about um, because that will be a major major step in the right direction for my dad and his training and we can get it out there as well I can get my road bike on a turbo trainer um, which will be really really good for me as well um, so I'm going to leave it here I hope you're all well um, I know it's a bit of a longer one today but there's a little bit that I wanted to talk about and actually it feels really good for me to get it off my chest um, and just say look hey this is where I'm at and it's all good um, and also I feel like if I put it if I actually document it I push myself a little bit more because someone's going to hold me accountable to that at some point um, so I, I hope you're all well I hope you had a lovely week um, the weather's been a bit rubbish, I know, um, but it's meant to be okay for the weekend, so I hope you have a fantastic weekend, um, and I will speak to you at some point next week.
Bye.